Well, it comes down to they pass the test in those four areas, but we don't we have hesitancy about their reliability because they include miracles. Look, if if I've always said this, if the gospels did not include miracles, how many people would find that the story is preposterous and discard Jesus of Nazareth as a historical character? Nobody would. You know, also, I see a lot right now is that there's a lot of scholarship and, and um, torment right now occurring related to contradictions that are seen between the Gospels. And I see people who are now, at least I see a lot in the last five years, the people will say, well, the genre eyewitness accounts in the first century allowed for such a thing. There, I'm going to tell you right now, there is no reason to jump to some literary theory related to genre because current eyewitnesses on an event that happens today, if there are five eyewitnesses, they will end up having the exact same amount of variation in their accounts. Hmm. I know this only because I do it, okay? So I don't jump to, oh, well, you know, maybe the genre of eyewitness statements <laughs> included this. No, this is just what, now, now, can we determine what really happened? And by the way, defense attorneys love this. Because they know there will be differences. In every case I've ever had, the defense attorney tries to play on those differences to convince a jury that no one should be trusted. Mm -hmm. And I've never lost a case because people understand. We even have a jury instruction that tells the jury that just because there are differences in their story, they are not to be dis discredited because people see things differently. And they remember different details. And they put things in different orders and doesn't make a point. And, and I, I'll tell you that if you were to go back to the first century and you were the first or second reader of these documents, there were still people there that could explain why they sound and look differently. The problem is, is as you get 30 years down the road, now all my witnesses are dead on a cold case. I don't have anyone to explain why you gave the statement in that order or why you omitted this part or why you said this thing doesn't make any sense. And I'm 30 years down the road. I can't go back to the scene and go, oh, yeah, that's why it happened. Hmm. So I just don't see any reason to jump to genre or to jump to a literary theory to reconcile differences because you will see some dramatic differences in eyewitness testimony. And by the way, our goal as detectives is to preserve those differences. Mm -hmm. So that's the first instruction we have. Dispatch calls me in the middle of the night to go to a homicide. I only have one instruction. Have the officers who are on the scene separate the eyewitnesses because I want the differences to be maintained. Hmm. Interesting. It'll help me to put the case. To, I'm the puzzler. Don't you start puzzling me before I get <laughs> So, So that's, that's kind of I, my view of it was that the differences actually in the accounts when I first read them were the thing that triggered for me, you know, I should apply this template hmm. because this looks and feels textually like, like eyewitness accounts. The level of variation is exactly what I would expect. Interesting. So, so upset about the, the, the kind of the theory that uh, th this is uh, people writing at a later time to kind of have a, uh, you know, uh, put Mark in a, a priestly position and, and, and kind of have this uh, uh, tie everything to, back to Levitical priests and, and tie everything to Jesus. You, you, you see this, that theory is being less likely because you have these variations where you have people who emphasize different uh, uh, details, uh, like, uh, for example, in uh, John 2, where he talks about um, uh, leaving Capernaum, like that, that was John's hometown. And so he just makes this offhanded remark as, as if we would, if, if Tony and I were to say, oh, and we passed through Kalamazoo and no one would know where Kalamazoo is at, but we would because, hey, that's our hometown. Right. Well, there's there are some places in the Gospel of John, uh, a pool, for example, that was destroyed in 70 A.D., but he writes about it as though everyone knows where that is because it probably is pre-78. There's lots of ways to kind of dig out details yeah. about dating and all kinds of things from the Gospels. That's all well and good. I am just less inclined when I when I know that the, the tail that's wagging the dog on a literary theory is an effort to reconcile differences between the accounts that's when i say hold on you don't need to develop a theory to reconcile differences any more than you would need to develop a theory today because i guarantee you if i have a homicide tonight and i get called out there will be differences that i just know now what the great thing about it in live i work cold cases i can't always go back and talk to the witness but on a fresh case if i'm talking to witnesses and i see there's a problem i can go back 
and ask the first witness. Now, I won't tell them what the second witness said. I'll just say, tell me again about this, trying to see if he'll add that detail that he admitted the first time Mm. to reconcile it. Unfortunately, we don't have that ability with the Gospels. We can't go back and re-interview the sources and and ask you kind of to mine out why there might be some variations between the accounts. Now, the problem I think it comes up, though, is that for Christians, we're like, hey, well, this is the inerrant. How do we reconcile inerrancy? If, would God allow the eyewitnesses to have the level of variation we would expect to have between eyewitnesses? I think he would if he wanted us to be able to test them later. Hmm. So I always look at it and say, if God was de- determined to present us with four accounts that, that have all the earmarks of reliable eyewitness testimony, he achieved it. Hmm. Because we have four accounts that, it's my experience talking to eyewitnesses, are as varied and different as eyewitness accounts are in real cases in real time. 